Taurus, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we have a reading for you. No particular subject, we're gonna take an issue, something we know, something we don't know. Recent past advice and potential outcome. At the end, there'll be an opportunity for an extended where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your second house, this could be for you. Once again, thank you for the continued support in whatever format this is, whether it's whether it's letting that go first, whether it's liking, sharing, subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider it. It's um, the easiest way to, uh, to grow the channel. Very much appreciated. Thank you to Patreon members, all those that purchase private reads, extended to buy me a coffee's donations. It uh, allows me to continue doing this for you guys. Cross watchers, you're more than welcome. The message may well be for you. All the information's in the description box. Just hit the more button below. Okay, Taurus, what's going on with you guys? Let's take three more. Okay, Taurus, ooh, beautiful. We have the King of Pentacles, the businessman. Okay. You seem to be getting your hands hands-on approach to something here this could be some sort of commitment it could just represent you you are an earth sign uh, but let's see what do we know what don't we know oh nice recent past nice guys this is amazing advice and potential outcome Wow, okay. This is this is gonna go two different ways. For some of you, this is a, like a romantic aspect. For others of you, this is work-related. Um, bottom of the deck, we have the Empress, wow. Magician, wow. Ace of Swords, the universe, which is the world. Five of Pentacles, three of Swords, seven of Swords, King of Swords, nine of Pentacles, and Temperance. Okay, so. You are coming into amazing energy of potential new beginnings, creation and birth with the um, magician and the empress here. Um, I think it's something to do with Pluto. The reason why I'm saying that, we've got one and three, magician and empress. Adds up. Adds up. Um, one and three is 13, which is the death card. Death is Pluto. Pluto is currently retrograding Capricorn, but it's in your 10th house of career, reputation, how you're seen your status. Um, so for some of you, your energy is becoming so magnetic, your status is amplifying. And in doing so, you're bringing everything in. Um, you, you, you get, it's like you're getting the complete package here. You're getting um, career boost, spiritual boost, romance boost there's like this whole thing that just seems to be taking off king of pentacles what we're aware of is the eight of wands momentum the energy is gaining momentum here there is something like like if this is a career this is just something that's going to take off rapidly if this is um um sales or anything like that it's going to take off if this is a new project at work you're going to receive a lot of um um compliments via email whatever it is it's just like it's time it's like um, a real sort of boost of energy what we're not aware of is the three of wands with creativity king king of pentacles and the three of wands is you've literally got the midas touch whatever you're touching right now taurus is turning to gold and um, so get creative we're in the um interesting actually um we're in the middle because it was started yesterday um uh, so 21st 22nd 23rd is the brightest star, uh, Regulus. And it's kind of a, a real creative energy of, you know, if, if you've got any ideas, if you've got any business plans as of launch, I know we're touching on Venus retrograde, and I know we're touching on um, Mercury retrograde, but the, the, Regulus, the Regulus point is the, it's like the royal star. And it feels like it's in your favor, probably because of Jupiter and your sign, expanding everything you touch. So whatever's going on here, you're really stepping into your power. The recent past is you stepping into your power, the Hierophant, this is your card. This is divine wisdom. For me, you've 
you raise your frequency so much because the Eight of Wands in the Toph deck is very focused on the Heart Chakra. It doesn't show you the Heart Chakra, but it shows you the Octahedron. The Octahedron is in the shape of the Heart Chakra, as above, so below. And we are electromagnetic beings. The more we raise our frequency, the more we emanate from the heart. And this is what you're doing. You're raising your frequency so much that your electromagnetic energy is drawing in everything, which is giving you the Midas touch. Your advice is the Knight of Pentacles, wisdom and planning. I, I, I kind of feel like as advice, the universe is here to say, think bigger. Whatever it is that you've, you believe that you focus towards, you have absolutely no idea. There's something bigger, there's something large. We've got Empress at the bottom of the deck representing Venus, but also she represents, say, you guys, you're ruled by Venus, but she is abundance. She is beauty, she's love, she's um, money, value, how you value yourself. Everything is changing. You've, you've literally going through, and I, I hate using this term, I really do, but I'm going to say it. You're going through like a glow up or a level up or whatever they want to uh, label it as. I just can't think of another word at the moment. Um, but whatever you're doing, you're, um, you're going through this big, big, big transition. Um, and, it's, and it's coming towards you. The one caveat I will say is, in the outcome, we have the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is nurturing. So as anything, you know, uh, once, once stuff moves very, very quickly forward, you need to nurture it. You don't need to, you know, get too carried away. It's also, I'm seeing it in the Osho Zen Tarot, and especially with the Empress here. So the Empress is all about being able to be in receiving mode. You know, the Emperor is all about do, do, do. The Empress is step back, allow it to come. And in the um, Osho Zen, the Queen of Cups is called receptivity. So you've got to be in that position and you've got to be in that open energy to receive. So that's my only caveat from this is being in that position. Don't second guess yourself. Don't think to yourself, oh, I don't know if this is my reading. If, 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 you've, if your energy is emanating really, really positively at the moment, and even like when certain things such as Five of Pentacles, Three of Swords and Seven of Swords and the King of Swords comes into your life, and you deal with it like a nine of pentacles and temperance would, you transmute it like the alchemist you are, you, you're maintaining that vibration. And when you maintain that vibration, this is where the excitement starts. And this is what kind of I feel is happening here. There's um, the universe is gifting you, like I say, spiritual knowledge with the Hierophant, Hierophant and the Eight of Wands, spiritual knowledge, King of Pentacles and the Three of Wands, the Midas touch, business, money related aspects here. And then we've got the Queen of Cups in the future, which is love. So Earth and Water with the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups is a beautiful combined energy here. It's commitment and it's love. We've got passion with the Eight of Wands and the Three of Wands. Uh, and we've got longevity with the Knight of Pentacles. So it's like the, the universe is orchestrating everything coming to you now because you've raised your frequency and you're maintaining it. That's the most important thing. Let's check out the Death card because I just want to see what Pluto's up to. Okay, the death card is with the page of wands, which promises good things coming. Uh, it's quite a good combination, is death and page of wands. And it's with the uh, high priestess. The high priestess is bringing some sort of changes. Um, this could be uh, spiritual gifts as well. You know, the death card and the high priestess could be mediumship, clairvoyance, any anything. I just feel like you're being attuned. Attuned to a higher level of knowledge, being... I just want to quickly check out the Four of Pentacles because that's kind of my retrograde Pluto in Capricorn energy. It's with Judgment and the Seven of Cups. You're seeing things clearly. It's showing you um, what's fantasy, what's not. And it's showing you a big breakthrough in insight. You've been massively blessed here and the blessing is coming because of your work. It's, you know, it's not just spirit. It's not just like you know, astrological alignment. Because there'll be plenty of Taurus out there that won't get this benefit. 
but for those of you that are watching and resonating you've done the work you've done some sort of um healthy heart chakra work opened up the heart to receive because if your heart's not open to receive you you won't get it you know that we can launch these um eight of ones all we want you won't be able to catch one unless you're uh, receptivity like the queen of cups okay in your extended we will we will combine all this we'll take one energy for the reading to represent this midas touch um and then we'll just kind of mirror this this reading see what we get exciting taurus exciting if you can join me fantastic if not let me know if this resonates we have mercury in sagittarius sun in aries taurus taurus libra gemini virgo capricorn uh, Mercury in Taurus, Saturn in Libra, Moon in Aquarius, Venus in Virgo, Sagittarius, Mars in Capricorn, Sun in Virgo, Virgo, Jupiter in Capricorn, Venus in Aries, Mercury in Aquarius, and then we've got Cancer, Sun in Scorpio, Pentacles, Cups, Wands, Swords, everyone's here, those of you standouts, let me know, see you soon.